Um, so we left off last week with you guys uh, pretty much finding an undiscovered race that's been hiding in the in the world for you guys don't know how long. And um, met the king. He's a douche. I like him. I don't care. And uh, you pretty much just he doesn't have or he's not going to help you guys, but he's letting you stay for a day from some sway from Saya, and uh, she walked you guys back to your rooms, and that's pretty much where we left off, I believe. I believe so. She's showing your accommodations, which are extremely nice for all of you. You can bathe. There is a private pooper for everybody. Oh good, I won't smell like a horse anymore. I'm pretty sure they wouldn't notice it. And I believe Waylon was asking if he can get a tour. Yes. A tour of the city. And go. <laughs> Is he getting that tour? Or? Uh, yes. Yeah. Uh, she go she uh says she'll give Waylon uh, she'll give Waylon uh Hallam a tour. Yay. Yeah, I, I already said last week that she was gonna get that she uh would give a, give the tour. And um, and she reminds you all to try and stay inside of the inside of your rooms over the night and wait for them to come out or to get you in the morning because uh bad things might happen to you if you leave without uh some kind of escort with you. Oh, but this be... town seems so friendly and kind. They just adore us. I hope that's out of character. Hmm. Yeah. A little too early to go to bed. Yeah. It's uh, I uh roughly join 8 you on your tour. She knows. I'm gonna have a bath. I'm. Uh, I need to get into a better mood. Uh. I'll just wait in my room for the time being. I wouldn't mind going on a tour. Oh yay! Chris is going to. Why? Uh, nothing. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> I was like, what did I do? <laughs> you showed up. That's what you did. You fall in a trap. <laughs> <laughs> it's the big pitfall underneath you. Like, oh. Okay. So, uh, Waylon, uh, Jason, are you staying or are you going? I'm staying. Okay, so Jason will sleep. It's go. roughly 8 p.m. right now. Uh, world time. And, uh, alright. So, you, are you guys going to be following her closely, hopefully? Yeah. You're not yeah. going to be, like, lagging behind a little bit. You're going to be pretty, pretty close to her the entire time. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, you're also noticing this place is extremely loud. A lot of the sound, you know, a lot of pistons firing sounds like there's, you know, gears grinding. Um, let's see what else. Uh, furnace is firing. And it's it's an extremely extremely loud uh, city. You guys walk from the main entrance way. I'm gonna have to draw this out so I know where I'm taking you. <laughs> oh man. I'm probably not going to take on a full tour, because uh, I don't think we have the time for all of that. Aww. But I want to see everything. You're not and going everyone. to see them. Do you want to see their grave site? To them. <laughs> yes. Do you want to see where they bury their dead? Yes. Are you going to ask? Uh, probably not. Okay, then you probably she's won't... comfortable showing me. Then you probably won't see it. Okay, so you guys oh. leave. Uh... You guys leave down the main hallway and branch out into uh, what looks like an industrial type district where the entire one side of the uh, wall is just full of uh, furnaces, anvils. There's at least probably a hundred or so Val Rye working on different pieces of metal or, let's see, some kind of molten steel. There are a few women there also working, and some. There is actually probably a group of about maybe 20 Velry children that are learning to blow gla glass uh, just off to the right of where the, uh, let's say, parents are working. Aww. 
children work here? No, we just, we're just uh, trying to get them adjusted to how things will be as they grow. This is more entertainment for them right now. As they get older, it will become more of a job. Mm -hmm. if, and if you look, they're, they don't look like they're not having fun. Like, they're, you know, breaking glass all everywhere. They're, you know, uh, stepping. They're, they're, uh, they're, they're blowing. Hold on, hold on, hold on. They're blowing too hard and popping the bubbles they're trying to do. And I just hear, like, there's broken glass everywhere and they're having a blast. <laughs> They're, they're well, they, 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 they like it. breaking things. They're smashing vases. All they're probably the okay. If if they were at their average, they're probably like between the eight ages of eight and or not eight, uh, ten and fifteen. Oh, okay. One of them was just sitting there beating an iron rod on the ground, yelling for attention, while uh, others are just. Uh, trying to do what they're doing. Ignoring him. <laughs> so, and she points out, this is pretty much where we're making, you know, outer shells for airships, the or maybe s small uh, accessories for cannons, are pretty much our, where we want to do most of our war work. Right. Now, this, uh, if you guys would like to see the engineering area, I can take you guys there now. Yes. It's just, uh, I would not tell anybody I showed you the engine, the engineering area. I might get in a little bit of trouble. That does sound like it would be better to not tell people. <laughs> I, I don't know why, but people here don't seem to like us. It's because you're humans. Yeah. Just follow me this way. And she uh, takes you to a staircase that's uh, kind of a, a winding staircase taking you downstairs. And um, this room is much quieter. It's also a little bit smaller than the room you were just, the, the uh, pretty much open area you were just in. And there's only about maybe 25, and, uh, 25 male Vel Rai working in this area. A few of them have glasses. They, uh, they're relatively old. Um, and every one of them is working. There's not one that's just sitting around doing nothing. Uh, many tables lining the walls with shit on them. Like, I, I really can't describe it to you because you wouldn't know what the fuck it is. Uh, there's a bunch of, you know, uh, cylinders. Some are varying size from large to small. Some are, there are, uh, Pluckwood gears laying around. There's also some things you didn't know. There might be there. there there's a couple things that actually look like miniature engines that were on the um, on the airship. Malik gravitates uh -huh. towards the uh, engine. So, uh, the miniatures. Miniatures. Say it kind of looks confused at you. You like the engines? It's. A smaller version of something I've seen before. Yes, they we use uh, much larger versions of these to uh, power airships. And I'm assuming your kind has the same technology? Well, I shouldn't say say, I, or say same. I should say you have our technology. I'm going to do an engineering check. I want to see how closely our, our uh, engines resemble this one. Sure. 17 it's engineering but just yeah um they look relatively the same uh this one the ones that you're looking at look like they have more parts added to them than the ones you have more advanced yeah okay. how do we have your technology thought you were hidden down here our technology is the dal high You're saying our airships are the Dal High. Yes. Your airships were built from Dal High. From the first war, I'm assuming you scavenged what you could and tried to. Oh, what's the word? 
re-engineer. Reverse engineer. Reverse engineer. Thinking. I'm going to do a history check. Does that match up with what I recall of airships first appearing around the time of Delray? Delhi disappeared. No, no need for history check. You do know. Yeah. Okay. That's yeah. It lines up That's... perfectly with what she's saying. Nobody had the technology until after that war. Hmm. So, did you create the Delhi? Correct. We did. Well, me not personally, no, but long ago, yes. Now your enemies. Yes, they seem to have grown beyond our control. What? What happened? We're not exactly sure. Uh, as you know, you know, five hundred years ago, that's when they that was their first attack on this plane. But only 10 years before that, they have already overridden ours, and we have moved here. So, we... And she kind of pulls all of you guys off to a side where she's out of ear sight of... Or, you know, ear range of everybody that's around her. The other engineers. It's more than likely they came here looking for us. All right. So, in a way, we were the cause of your first war. We may not be the cause of the second, the second war that looks to be coming now, because more than likely they are looking to expand, not just wipe, you know, us out. It would probably be best to keep this from getting. More. Than I don't likely. think he would take this very well. Probably not. I suppose we can keep it a secret. I do want to ask, um... Our intentions weren't to bring harm to this world. When we moved here, when we first came here, this world was barely inhabited. You guys have just started coming, coming south, or coming north. The only cities that we knew of were... One to the south and one in the center of your in the center of your continent. They were relatively small, and we weren't exactly sure the species would survive here. By species, I mean humans. Now I can understand. Now, tell me what caused the Velry to lose when they went up against the Delhi. Numbers. The Delhi are just that numerous. Yes. They have so found a way to replicate themselves and us. To replicate Velhai? Go uh, right? Not in the sense of they make <clears throat> copies of us, but in the sense that they kind of absorb us into their ranks. When one of us dies, they come, <clears throat> they disappear and come back as mechanical things of what they used to be. You mean Arden doesn't take you? She kind of turns her head to the side. What is this Ardent? Ardent. Man in the sky. Uh, when we leave this plane, we go to him. She looks at uh, Alexis. He's a silly one. He has his own beliefs, but uh, I don't believe that the Valrai worship the same gods that many of us do. Gods? No. We follow our ancestors, but not these gods you speak of. How many people are in this city? Well, that's kind of a hard question to answer. How many born? Or how many... How many occupy this city right now? She thinks up. I really can't give an exact number, but I would say... 
roughly 75,000. Out of character arm, uh, how much is the average uh, population of one of the big cities in the world? Much larger than that. Uh, like, what's Freeport's average? Freeport's so probably in the 250. 250, okay. If not more. Okay. Actually, I'd probably put them around 350. You seem to have some sort of connection with uh, His Majesty. What is actually are you in this culture? My title? I am uh, the first and only female legionnaire. The legionnaire are your soldiers? We guard the city. Our main job is just the city. Not the people inside of it, but our way of life. So if you're someone so fiercely loyal to protecting your city, why were you sympathetic to our cause? Because we were the cause of your cause. So it's guilt? Partly, yes. I don't think uh, one race should suffer because of another. You seem to be a, a rarity among your species with that thought, though. No, there are more. More than our king would like to believe, but there are more. Um, How can we get the king to join those ranks? I don't know. Honestly, I, I do not know. He's... He has been our king for too long. He's a stubborn man and will not give up his post. Yesterday, or earlier today, rather, he showed me his army. When's he planning on fighting the Delhi? I am not privy to his, uh, his war room talks. Is it soon? I would say in the year. But right now, if they've already attacked the north, the northern part of your continent, your south is soon to fall. Once your once your south falls, the center they will spread. This actually brings a question I want to ask. Uh, were you involved in us defeating the Dalhai before? Not you personally, but your people. Mm. Yes, but we managed to keep our noticings on you know unknown. We would hi we would hijack some of their airships and fight them with their own weaponry. We never used our own. When you say that they're going to attack to the south, are you referring to Tanifer City? Is it one of your larger cities to the south? It is. Then more than likely, yes. How It's how they work. They take the north, south, and spread from the center. You don't know where the portals are, do you, though? No. Only the king? He only has ideas. He has no concrete knowledge. Is there a way they can be found, though? Yes. How do we do that? She walks up to one of the engineers and uh, talks to him. Do you guys want to listen in? If you want to listen in, roll me perception. Yeah, sure. that's probably not going to work. Or, hey, is 23. It, is it perception or insight? A perception would be to listen into a conversation. Okay. 21. Oh. Okay, Malik, let's see what you do. Oh, shit. Malik wins. Okay. I crit it. Yes. <laughs> and now you'll be useless the entire day. <laughs> oh. Malik, you're good. I washed ear today. I got big ears. Um, You hear them having a conversation about... Uh, she's trying to talk him into getting one of the... An object that would actually uh, be able to 
find where gates are. They have a, a slight argument over why, and then uh, he gives in and hands her a, it looks about, about a foot long cylinder. Uh, it looks silver to you. It's got two black caps on each end. And she walks back over to you. These things uh, need to be inserted into the ground. And they would uh, be able to send back a signal to us and inform us if there is an actual, an actual presence of a portal nearby. How far do they spread, though? What do you mean? How, how, how much, in what kind of distance can this, this device detect a portal? They have to be not too close. Uh, the, well, the closer they are to where the portal actually lays, the more, the, the more precise reading where we, we can tell you exactly where it's at. The farther away, we can give relative all right estimations depending on how far away it is. But the thing is, is we have hundreds of these. So if you plant three of them, we're able to, what's the word? Triangulate? Yes. By the way, I know all these words. I'm just doing it for character. Um, yes, we will be able to put find a pinpoint position for all of these. And this will work even in stone and... Yes. Yes. Street? Okay. The portals give off some kind of uh, radiation that these cylinders pick up. But now, how do, once we find them, close the portals? She kind of thinks for a moment. The portal, those portals are themselves relatively easy to close. It's just being able to get to them will be the hard part. Something like that's probably heavily guarded. Well, most of the portals, yes. Uh, the main portal would be damn near impossible to get to. <sighs> Which is somewhere in the center of your continent. We'll need help to find all the portals. Well, we have modified our airships to be able to drop these things, these cylinders from, you know, as we fly. We could easily find these, find most of the portals, given we have access to the continent's airspace without being hindered in any way. You mean you can prevent being shot down with whatever the heck they're shooting us down with? No, no. I'm assuming the only part, the only, they have only made an underground, ba underground base inside of, and inside of a, a Stormguard city. Right, uh, right where I'm we are, we are at now, their, their guns cannot possibly reach us. So we'd have to make a hard loop around and come out over the sea to either the west, the uh, east or west, and then fly down from there. And then drop our cylinders from our, you know, a height that would actually drive them into the ground. We do have cannons that can fire them straight straight down. It's just a matter of, we do, uh, I think some cities might find it as an act of war to be firing things at them. going to say that as good of a plan as that may be, if the other cities aren't on board, they will consider it an act of aggression. Exactly. But we could do it in one, roughly a day. No, I'm sorry. Uh, one, two, three, four. Four weeks. Four weeks isn't a lot of time. Four weeks is faster than if you did it on the ground. 
Yeah. It is, but we need to talk to the cities first. I suggest you do it soon. I suggest we do it soon indeed. Is your king going to be doing this regardless of what the cities say? I doubt it. I think he would let them come out and find out their, where their portals are from there. Ah. Will your majesty... I like that plan much less. <laughs> will your majesty even aid this plan? I mean, it's fine for you to say so, but he's the authority here, isn't he? For now, yes. So we need him to agree to this plan. Yes. To, to commission airships? Yes. Unless we steal one. Could I be the captain of that airship? No. Oh. She walks over to the table and picks up one of the... It's a, it's a cast of one of the engines and gives it to you. It's not working, but it looks it looks exactly like one of them. It has all the details to it, and it does have a little glow, little golden glow to it. Ooh. <laughs> Shiny. What does your majesty respect most of all? Other than his people? Himself. He takes a lot of pride in his power. Mm -hmm. You can see a little bit of uh, anger in her brow. Do I think it's anger at what I said, or just anger thinking about the king? Anger thinking about the king. Okay. Looks like going to get a little bit of like a wry smile. Something amusing. Just thinking. Do tell. Oh no. I don't want to spoil the surprise. Besides, it's not a complete thought yet. She, she just kind of shrugs it off. <laughs> <laughs> Would you uh, like to continue the tour? Actually, I do feel a, a wee bit peckered. I think I should get to bed. I would look around the city some more. Okay. Um, she'll walk uh, Chris back to his room. And uh, you guys are following. After she walks uh, Alexis back, she'll continue the tour. Okay. So, uh, Chris, is there something you want to do? That I'll cut to really um, quick, or do you... She's just thinking throughout the night. Okay, less. I didn't know if you were going to do any conversations or not. Uh, she may do something with uh, getting in a little bit, but... Alright, well, there's only a couple other things I'm actually just going to show off as far as the city goes. Okay. Instead of... Okay, you guys make it back to that stairway that takes you down into the uh, engineering room. She uh, instead takes the stairway and goes up. It's a very long stairway up. And as you start seeing a, a ceiling, and uh, as you get towards the, towards the ceiling, uh, a little chute opens up, and uh, you're able to go on to the second, the uh, the additional floor that's up there. And as you guys go up there, you see it's just a huge holding bay of airships. And yeah, Alex, draw airship. drops. <laughs> There's hundreds of, of these things. Hundreds of hundreds of them. And she points to the ceiling, and you're starting to see the, the dome, the, the top of the dome, as far as the uh, orb that you're, that, or the uh, sphere that you're in right now. And you see these huge cylinders, halfway, you know, sitting or coming out of the, uh, out of the roof. Uh, four total pointing, you know, at an angle, uh, looks like out, outside of the roof. And she points up to them and says, when we used to be above the ground, those things were our, I guess you would call them, like, air defense. 
Right. That's more likely, more than likely, what shot at the at you guys as you came in. So they build cities like you do. Well, they build them underground. We actually used to be on the on the surface. Ah. Well, not technically on the surface. This thing, um, she kind of snaps her fingers for a moment and says, hovers. It, it doesn't sit on the ground. See. Uh, I'm not going to pretend I comprehend that. Changed planes? That wasn't possible? We still wanted to remain undetected, and I think a giant floating metal ball would alert people of our knowing of, of us. Why do you want to be hidden? We don't want to be. This is just the choice we had to make when we came here. Sacrifices have to be made. Malik just looks perplexed. How do you get the uh, airships out of here? We don't. Huh. Malik is extremely sad at that thought. <laughs> that the birds don't fly. Mm. If they, you want to find these gates, how are we going to get the airship out to... Uh, we'd drop? have to raise the city. Well, I'm sure your king will go for that immediately. That part Alexis didn't stay for. It's kind of hope she'd leave after this part. <laughs> Well, uh, as far as these cannons go, we have four on our north and south pole, and we have roughly 20 surrounding the equator. You're well equipped. Well, this is our capital. It has to be. Uh, you don't mind me asking, uh, I've just been wondering, uh, you mentioned following the ways of your ancestors earlier. Yes. And none of them what are happened? named Ardent. Yes, yes, you have made that clear. <laughs> made that very clear. Uh, what happens when you, uh, leave this plane? We, so far, most of us haven't. I see. Uh, how old are most of you? Well, we have an average lifespan of roughly 125 human years. Malik's trying to do the math in his head. Yes, there's a bunch of years that aren't accounted for, which is why the king is still king. <laughs> huh. How? How? This will be very far above the intelligence of humans, but not to be insulting, but uh, as you've seen, our technology is far superior to yours. But we have found a way to copy ourselves. Uh -huh. See, <laughs> I am not going to pretend I understand what you're talking about. Okay. Our our race would have died out by now if we have not done it. There are a rare few of us that are actual bred through our ancestors. What about the children? Some are born. Some are uh, some are born. But most of them are not uh, copies. Are, our copies are f of adult age. We All could right. copy children, but it is extremely difficult to do so. 
because of their changing bodies and things like that, the it's it's a much harder thing to do. But when it comes to a full grown male or female, it's relatively easy. The king has done it four times. I will take your word for it. <clears throat> Some children are born? Yes. Some are copies? No, uh, we haven't successfully had a copy yet. By some children are born, meaning natural conception amongst us right now is extremely rare. Maybe. Malik was about to make a very inappropriate joke but decided not to <laughs> okay now just out of character what would have been <laughs> uh, your man can't get it up <laughs> oh, <dear. laughs> but um oh, where was I yeah okay there are only there are less than a hundred per year actually born And the king should have been dead four times over by now. Has he given chance for anyone else to rule? No. I d I figured. No, the 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 red sword burns bright for him. What if it didn't? Well, the only true king, only true kings can actually make the the red sword burn blue. Uh, I'll take your word for it. I I do not understand this custom. This sounds like a word for a word thingy. She kind of rubs her head a little bit and she goes, "The fire sword he has." is red. Right. That means he is a child of war. Our true king, the sword would burn blue. The flame on it. And she's making hand gestures as she's talking. Of course. Is she speaking very slowly? Yes. <laughs> Malik's nodding. <laughs> Vigorously. Yes. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I got it. Uh-huh. Go on. If it burns blue, that is our true king. A king that wants peace. Has anyone tried wielding the uh, sword besides him? Nobody can get close to it. Huh. I'm guessing he tends to destroy any challenges. No, nobody's ever even tried to get the sword. That's actually a good comment in the chat room. If red, then blood. If blue, then true. Can I hold the sword? I doubt that. This plan sounds like a horrible idea. It wasn't a plan, it was a question. <laughs> uh, yeah, is there any other parts of the city you'd be willing to show us? Uh, I mean, we have your normal, like, merchant districts and... I want to see these copies. I don't know if I can get you into that. I will see if I can make some do some talking with some people and see if I can get you get you into them in the morning. That sounds fine with me. Oh, it turns green. What? <laughs> There's a sword that turns green. <laughs> nah, it would turn brown. 
He's like my skin. No, he's your shit. Oh. <laughs> hate you, Randy. <laughs> mm. I think you hate me now. Just wait. Um, yeah. <laughs> wait till I kill off your master. No. And his kids. No. Okay, Vader. Other than this, we have our merchant quarters. We have our, you know, the war room, which there's no way I'm getting you able to get you into. We have our barracks and our training areas. Which are rather boring. Training. Yes. I'd like to see that. It might not be the most welcoming place for you. I assume most the of people there. Most of our warriors tend to side with the king because he is a war king. Yeah. Well, then I have a question. Yes. Can I go try to do that blast blow glass blowing thing? <laughs> she pauses. Sure, why not? Yay! <laughs> she takes you guys back downstairs. <laughs> I'm gonna role play this shit out. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> no. Okay. Malik, uh, Malik rolls to make sure he doesn't break the glass. You guys uh, go downstairs, and uh, she walks up to the station where p the kids are blowing glass, and uh, <clears throat> picks up one of the hot the the rods with uh, molten glass on it, and uh, keeps you know keeps spinning it as she's holding it, and hands it to you, and she tells you to to continue to spin it. And blow gently. All right. Now, what check should I make this? Oh God. Do like a flat dex check, maybe. Yeah, sure. With a with a low DC on it. Oh no, no, no! It's Wayland. It's got to be high. Crap. Twenty-seven. Hmm. You blow <laughs> a perfect sphere. You've wasted a crit on blowing glass. <laughs> <laughs> you continue totally to blow. Worth it. <laughs> you continue to blow, and you make a tumor on it, and it is now ugly. Oh! But he rolled perfect. Yes, but he didn't say he stopped it's, blowing. It's after abstract he, art now. He, yes. Really? He didn't stop. Say he was stopping blowing after he rolled perfect. So, <laughs> oh. it now has a little tumor on it. So oh, well, I'm still proud of myself. And um, next to you, you see one of the, the elders actually, you know, pinching and pulling at glass as he's creating a, a glass airship. Ooh, ooh. C can I try to manipulate mine into working like garden? Oh, God. <laughs> what? He's, he, I don't even uh, know what Arden looks like. He, there's statues. He's seen. He's seen what they. What, okay, to, to give an idea what Arden looks like, uh, he's got a, you know a big hood over his. Head. Actually, you just imagine Teriel from Diablo. I've never there played Diablo. Huh? Teriel. Oh. Okay. Yeah. I've never played Diablo. Just Google Teriel, and that's him. I don't even know about Teriel. I'm just gonna assume what he looks like. He's the he looks black like guy Dan with a hood. He looks like Dan Aykroyd in my mind. <laughs> <laughs> No. Can I try this? <laughs> Alexis blows one. The glass smokes a cigarette afterward. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my chat room is awesome today. Yay. I love you guys. Um, sure. Uh, I'm going to need... Let's do a dex check, endurance check, and... Um, like an acrobatics, like very nimble sort of finger moving. Yeah. Dex... Okay. okay yeah. Dex... Endurance, acrobatics. Do actually do it in this order. Uh, dex, then do acrobatics, then do endurance. Keep going. Okay. Here is dex. Okay. Here is endurance. Oh, oh, that's it. Wow, I did that in the wrong order. 
Uh, that's still a bad roll, though. Oh, um, just roll your acrobatics, and I'll put it. Uh, I'll let you re-roll the endurance. Oh, yay! Thirty for the acrobatics. Okay, you're getting form out of it. And seven for the endurance. You now. stop halfway. <laughs> you stop halfway through it. Oh. It, Almost. It, it looks you, a little bit grotesque. You created ardent dick. <laughs> Clearly. Uh, you can grow. You can uh, blow a glass dildo for uh, Alexis. Wouldn't Maybe. know what that is. <laughs> Maybe she'd stop bugging you. <laughs> I'm surprised that didn't come, that didn't come up when Chris was over there. <laughs> Malik goes over to the uh, the elder that was blowing the airship glass, mm -hmm. and it's like, but now it's he just he's. He's just he's shaping. Like, he's not blowing anything right now. He's just shaping he's the glass shaping. and right, then sorry. you know throwing it back in the furnace, then pulling it back out and shaping it more. It looks. It's relatively detailed. So yeah, I mean, no, it's just like. So that, how do you make models like that? Well, it's just pulling on certain parts of the glass while while it's still warm, letting it cool, then hitting it back in the furnace. It's easy. It just takes a long time to learn. And he says this without even actually looking up at you. He's still looking straight down, with his uh, tongs in his hand, pulling on parts of the parts of the uh, the molten glass. This is probably for the best. I like just sort of watches him work, and I'd say uh, depends on how long you want to go. Uh, within probably the next twenty minutes, he finishes it. I'm just I'm just making sure now this is like a small model of yep. an airship. It's one of their airships. Oh, it's okay. And um, it it doesn't have anything. It's just the the like the chassis of it. And he starts blow uh, bl uh starting on another thing, and it's uh he's creating the top half of it. Oh, okay. So he's he's making pieces of it. Okay. There's two pieces. When it's finished, um. I will drop a token of what it actually looks like. Okay. Boop, Belra airship to the north. The top half is so much bigger than the bottom half. It's got a pirate flag. Ignore the pirate flag. <laughs> It's not. It's not one of. It's not all of their airships. It's just one of them. Mm -hmm. A version. Yeah. And to 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 uh, put it all together, he you know heats up the end of a uh, his prods and melts the two t pieces together. How big is this thing? Uh, let's see. It's probably about. Maybe five inches from front to back. Nah, let's say six. Six to seven inches long. Mm. He uh, looks up and after he finishes it, he looks up. He's not shocked about uh, at you know you being who you are. And uh, hands it to you and goes, here you go, kid. Malik just smiles and thanks him. And turns around and grabs another thing of a, another rod that's holding, you know, melted glass on it and starts to shape that one. Somebody's walking away with many souvenirs today. I'm yeah. getting my airship someday, <laughs> damn it. By the way, the, the airship uh, engine model is too big to fit into the en airship of the, that you have. Uh, it's also too small for me to actually use effectively. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you could have but, a little remote control plane if you looked at it at the end. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> uh, if we are through, uh, we'll take you guys yeah, back uh, to your room. Yeah, the only thing that Helen would be doing is trying to make more copies of Ardent 
but I imagine that'd be a check for the entire thing. So. Well, if you do, you want are you going to do that without sleeping, or are you going to stay up a, a little bit later no, than everybody else? I'm, I'll stay up a little bit later than everyone else. I'm an okay. Elf. I'm uh, the um, she leaves you in the care of the the glassmaker. All right. Who says he will get you back to your room when you are ready? And you spend uh, how late are you going to be up? It's uh, let's say it's about ten or nine thirty right about now. I only need four hours of sleep. When do we need to be up? I don't know. You said it's nine thirty. Um, yeah. Okay. It's not about nine between nine thirty and ten. You'll probably be uh, up around let's say eight. Okay, so I'll go to sleep at four. Okay, so you spend the rest of the evening with them. Yeah. For pretty much the rest of the evening and morning. Want to make uh, something? Okay. Yeah. Malik probably would have gone back to bed uh, when she was about to leave. When she was about to leave? She, uh, you said she was yeah. leaving us in the care of... No, she was leaving him in the care. She was taking you back oh, to your yeah. room. Okay. So, she drops you off back at your room. Okay. I know it might be loud, but try and get as much sleep as you can. It, Malik takes a look in the room and how dark is it in there? Um, there's one singular. There's a light in the ceiling. Uh, yes, there are light bulbs in this world, in, in this place. Um, there's one glass light hanging from the ceiling, and there are a couple of candles that, that uh, are unlit on the desk. Now it plays with the light switch. There are no light switches. Oh, how does it work? It just turns on and off at certain t certain hours. Oh. So you're fucked when it comes to about ten. <laughs> Oh, God. Malik lights the candles in the room. <laughs> there is actually a little uh, holder for a torch on every in the room, in every room. So you can put your ever-ending torch on there. He does so. And she uh, smiles and slides the door shut. Thank you. You don't hear a reply. <laughs> mm. Okay, um, what's who's doing what now? Oh, at this point, as she's beginning to walk away, I want to try and catch Saya. Yeah, you hear her shut. You hear you hear the door shut. And you can peek out to see who it was. All right. Hey, Saya, can I ask you something? Yes. You know, this would be a very bad thing to waste this opportunity we have. How would you like to experience something different? <laughs> uh, she looks Dude. That's fucking creepy. <laughs> Bold move, sir. <laughs> Bold move. <laughs> she kind of cocks her head to the side. Experience what? Well, we don't get you don't usually get opportunities like this. You get to stick with your species while I get to stick with other species of my type. Uh, it suddenly and hits her and she's like, oh, breeding. Yes. For fun, though. I'm sorry, I'm not that kind of person. <laughs> Damn. Well, if you change your mind, you know which room's mine. I'll keep that in mind. Okay. And as... Have, go ahead. Have a nice night, say. <laughs> she starts to walk away, and she, and, uh, she hear, uh, she, you hear her say, Humans are weird. And Payless just kind of frowns and goes back into her room. <laughs> Damn. I was so close. <laughs> how, does he expect to or how does she expect to make babies? We don't go together uh, like that. <laughs> That's <laughs> when Hallam shows up with his glass dildo. <laughs> Look what I made! <laughs> well, enough. hold on. If, if I'm gonna make him make him do a couple more checks to see what he makes, and one of them, if he botches too bad, it might end up looking in, like in the shape of a dildo. Oh man! Uh, this part's your god. <laughs> He's in the shape of a penis, you know that, right? Oh. <laughs> it's a very penis-shaped god. <laughs> very phallic deity. <laughs> Clearly. 
All right. Uh, so is everybody sleeping, or are we uh, going into conversations with Chris? <laughs> Why do you say it like that? Because I'm just wondering. You say it like, uh, oh, yeah, yeah. It's, it's time for Chris to have seven conversations. Because <laughs> of that, I know it's coming. <laughs> Maybe I don't want to have them now. Bullshit. Maybe I don't want to further our characters. Bullshit. <laughs> All right, Chris. Yeah, when, they get, when they get back, I'll ask if they've uh, they saw anything interesting. Uh, well, Wayland's still gone. Uh, you could find Malik if you want. Are you gonna go alone in his room again? Uh, well, I... they will, the rest of them came back, other than. Well, yeah. Uh, Alexis is back, and Malik is back. Uh, Hallam is not. All right, well, yeah, when they come through, there's, like, a common area or of some sort? Well, right now, um, you're in a hallway that's, yeah, it's basically a narrow hallway with uh, four, you know, f or six doors on it. So there is no kind of, like, common sitting area. But, yeah, well, when, when I hear them come back in, I'll just you know, walk out of my room and ask them if they've, uh, if they had an interesting time. Yep. You find, uh, Malik and, or no, you find Alexis, because she's the first one to come through. Oh, was it, an, was it an interesting tour? Very interesting indeed. I'll tell you all about it, but give me a moment to take a bath first. I still smell horse. Do you want to wash my back? You got a prehensile tail for that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's probably best not to get in the bathtub with me. You know, I'm a lightning and all. Wow, that's a leap. Are you? Are you making a pass? Saying not to, anyway. So uh, you enjoy, don't want to take bath. a bath with me? Uh, you want to be electrocuted? Clearly. Mm -hmm. I, I would try not to, but, you know. Whenever he gets aroused, he shuts off a, shark, a spark. It might be fun. Feel the vibration between my legs. It tingles, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna smile and then to her room and uh, take a, a bath real quick and then come over and visit him. Half hour goes by. <laughs> Just take a very luxurious bath. This sounds about right for a woman, yeah. <laughs> yep, it's about how Jay, long day Jay takes. Half hour to 40 minutes. <sighs> Don't ever. Take the luxuries for granted. Are you walking into his room with a towel? Not wearing a towel. Maybe a towel. Her hair is probably still wet or something like that, but she's actually going to have clothes on. Okay. Sort of like that nighttime attire. Okay. Skimpy little Scout. nighty. <laughs> yeah, sure. We'll, we'll go with that as opposed to just a towel. <laughs> she walks up to your door, and she's wearing a red silk nighty that goes to about her knees. Apparently she packed this. Yes. Okay, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> if that's decided. Uh, whatever. Uh, no, uh, let her in and... Yeah. Spaghetti straps. Just your, just your do the, I guess there's just like a table and chairs in here. Yep. Now, do you need uh, me to salute you or anything? <laughs> <laughs> I think we're rather more informal than that. Uh, I don't don't recall uh, anyone else joining the army other than me. I do like a man in uniform. Too bad it's all singed. Uh, my uniform didn't survive the uh, trip down very well, but uh, Freeport provided some armor at least. Well, it looks good on you. Now, Geddon, I understand this is probably a very difficult time for you right now. I realize I was not in the, the best mood when we first arrived here, but I, I think I've regained my equilibrium. Are you sure? Mighty big word the, for a uh, commoner. The desire to electrocute the king has passed. Well, that's good, because we're going to very much need his help. Yes, it seems so. If they... We can get get them to fight the Del High. We, we would stand a much better chance. I, uh, they may have done nothing to Stormguard, but I would see that they 
intervene before my, the same fate falls any other city. I know that you're you're thinking of our best interests right now, but it's really not healthy to ignore that. Well, you have to hate them right now, don't you? Uh, the fault is the Delhi's, and my own for not defending my city. I cannot depend on someone else to solve our own our problems. But... You can't honestly blame yourselves for the fact that an army you never knew was coming just wound up charging right into your city. But they uh, knew, and they didn't six... do anything. I can't say I'm happy with them, but it's not their responsibility to defend my city. I realize this now. So when you're seeking revenge for Stormguard, the Velrai will never come into it? They, they did not attack the city. It was the Delhi who destroyed it. How close is uh, uh, getting to Alexis right now? Uh, so we're sitting across the table. Are we sitting across the table? Is that is this what we're sitting at a table? Are you asking me or asking him? I'm asking you. Um, well, the table. What's it? What's what's in the room? And then okay, can... uh, inside the room you have a small window to the to one side. Uh, you have the bed uh, in the corner. Along the let's say west wall is a decently sized table with. There's a few chairs around uh, on three sides of it. Okay, table and chairs. That's what we're doing. Yep. Okay. Um. Is his hands on the table or anything like that? Sure. Uh, she's going to reach across the table and kind of grab onto your hands. Get in. No one's going to blame you. I, I rather, I'm not going to blame you if you hate them. In fact, I could completely understand that, that thought. Uh, I... No, I'm not. As I said, I'm not pleased that they did not at least warn us. But it was not their not their city to defend. We had no treaties. No, they had no responsibility for us. But do I recall correctly that the king said that they created the Delhi? Uh, was that part of the conversation you guys actually had, or was that only in the conversation you had with Sayo? I think that was only part of the conversation you weren't a part of. I thought it might have been at the end of last session, but I was really close to unconscious there, so I don't recall entirely. I don't think I brought it up. Yeah, I don't recall it. I, th I thought the king mentioned it in passing, and I yeah, kind of let it go at the moment. Right now, um, if I did, I didn't mean it. So. All right, so I don't know that at the moment. I, yeah, I would say no. But I honestly, I don't remember bringing it up. Okay, but then Gen blames the Delhi entirely. The, as far as he knows, the uh, the Velrai are just happen to be from the same world, uh, not related to them, or or another victim of them. The uh, the, the Velrai are they're uh, refugees in our in in our world. Well, they're fighting the Delhi as well. They're Potential allies, so I will not view them as enemies, at least not yet. Actually, I have a little bit of a frown on her face. If you're un if you're sure, then I'm proud of you. But you don't need to hide anything from me. Uh, it, it is the Delhi that I must that must be destroyed. That is my mission. Uh, to further that mission, it seems we must recruit the Velrai to our cause, despite their their king's misguided feelings. Uh, did you find it? Did you find anything on the tour that uh, gave you gave you any insight to uh, his attitudes? A little bit. I think I know a way that can at least convince him that 
having us not obliterated is in his majesty's best favor and interests. Uh, I should hope so. Unfortunately, he seems to be a very pride-filled man, so... It will be difficult to insinuate anything to the Velhai's weakness without... Subtly also. Without him also perhaps taking offense to that. Well, you've toured their city and seen their army... Uh... Do you think they have a chance against the Delhar? Against a force that destroyed one of our large one, uh, all of Stormguard in a month? She's going to just shake her head very solemnly. They won't stand a chance. Uh, and, and they don't realize it, though. Or at least their king doesn't. Well, their forces are better than ours, but... The numbers they have now are paltry compared to what they once were, and they lost then. So they ha they have the equipment and the knowledge and the technology, and we have the manpower. This seems like a perfect match. Only we can get, only we can convince them of it. That will be the challenge. If only, if, only, if only we knew something of their culture. Uh, how to uh, approach them in a way that preserves their pride and allows us to ask for help from a position of strength. Mm. Well, we have the position of strength. It's just saying that in a context that doesn't also imply that the Majesty himself is weak and needs our help. But I suppose that's something I'm working towards. Yes, you see, you have a plan. What? Uh, what is it? It's just to let the Majesty know exactly what the cost of failure will be and remind him of what our stake in this is and doing it with such a cadence and diction that he'll be sympathetic to our cause or at least not obliterate us or ignore us anymore. I would take obliteration personally. Well... After yesterday, I was a bit surprised that we haven't all been thrown off the, off, over the railing. One of you came close. <coughs> Hallam. <coughs> well, poor, poor manners to uh, obliterate your guests, no matter uh, who invited them. Yeah, I don't think it, the Majesty is one for manners. Yes, what, what is Saya's position, that she was... Uh, he has the authority to, to let us into the city. A legionnaire, it seems they're the guardians of the city. She's the first female member of that. And she feels a bit responsible for the fact that the Del Rai destroyed us. And destroyed Stormguard, rather. Mm. Uh, perhaps we should speak to some of the other legionnaires. The, the king can't rule in a vacuum. There must be other powerful people in the city as well. We will have a, a meeting with the, His Majesty tomorrow. Perhaps I could handle that and you could inquire into meeting some of the legionnaires. They might respect uh, that may be military the, figure. That may be for the best. <laughs> oh, good. I wasn't expecting this. This will be fun. Well, it's getting rather late, and I wouldn't want to keep you up. Unless, do you want me to keep you up? Uh, you're, uh, you're such a tease, Alexis. Uh, someone has to be. Keeps things fun. 
Uh, I, I wouldn't mind ma wasting a few hours with you, but we have things to do, and we'd best have a full night's rest. Don't keep me waiting too long. <laughs> and she's going to uh, walk out, and she's actually going to close the door with her tail. <laughs> well, the door slides shut, so. We'll see a slide it close with her tail, then. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, dead, dead ass. <laughs> so imagine what she can do with the tail. She wants to stroke you off with it, though. That's a feat. She needs, oh, she, she needs the one that, uh, that'll that allow her to use the use it for thievery. Prehensile right? tail or something. Yeah. Oh, She'll man. need that. <laughs> should, should have taken that, take that as your non-combat feat. I should. Next level. Yeah. <laughs> Solely for the fur solely for the purpose of jacking people off. <laughs> Slide it up their I leg. I could carry things with it, but <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh Dan, are you going to talk to Hal uh Malik too, or will that be all for you tonight? Yeah, I'll check in on my troops before bed. <laughs> okay. You'll find them all except for um Hallam. Alright, uh, uh, anyone? does anyone want to have a conversation, or is anyone, everyone pretty much content and just resting? Yeah, that's good uh, with just resting. Uh, I'm good until tomorrow. Yep. Alright, good enough. <laughs> good talk, guys. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> yeah, they're all here. Alright. <laughs> All right. Um, well, except hey, Payless, you want to fuck? No. All right. <laughs> well, good luck. All right. Um, who's not Who's not having the trance to sleep? Uh, I don't. It's trance. Just the Just the elves have the trance. Okay. Um, if you're not an elf, um, you mean endurance check for your sleep? Hmm. Interesting. Uh, Twenty-three. Boo. Malik sleeps like a rock. Yep. Uh, again, you have a hard time falling asleep. Uh, yeah, that seems reasonable. Jason, you have a, also a hard time to fall asleep. Malik's like, I've grown up in noisier places than this. No, you have not. <laughs> <laughs> but you find a natural rhythm to everything, which helps you fall asleep. Same thing with uh, Alexis. You find a natural rhythm to the noises that are going on, and you're able to fall asleep relatively easy. Sweet! I protect my neck. <laughs> and you're cuddling your uh, your little engine. It's your stuffed animal. They give him a plushy engine. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh... I'm... Oh, yes, plushies. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, so you guys wait. Uh, you guys have a decent night, amount, night, amount of sleep, except for Dan and Jason. Um, and roughly around eight a.m., you guys are stirred to waking up by uh, pretty much somebody running down the hall, pounding on all the doors. And to slide open the door, uh, you don't see anybody at the door. Yeah. Fuck happened. Your room's in the center of everybody, pretty much. Oh. Open my door. What's going on? Uh, you see Saya. Yeah, because your your room's at the end of the hall, so you would see Saya there. So yeah, what's what's happening? It's morning. How can you tell down here? Uh... I don't know. I didn't think of that question. <laughs> <laughs> the lights. The lights turned off. <laughs> Well, yeah. Okay. Hold on, hold on. At eight, at at around uh, between ten and eleven o'clock p.m., the whole place, uh, the whole part of the the uh, pretty much the the uh, sleeping quarter areas, go dark. And roughly about an hour ago, the lights turned back on. That's how we tell time. Mm. During the day, they have no idea. <laughs> but. They know when they sleep time is. Culture. They haven't invented the clock yet. No. They're underground. They don't fucking care. <laughs> they just know when the lights are off, the sun is down. When the lights are on, the sun is up. 
<laughs> they could tell time when they go outside. <laughs> and when is that? They go outside Hunting? a lot. Yeah, they go outside. Oh. They just don't go outside the wall. Mm. Uh, uh, yes, good, good morning, Saya. Good morning. I hope you had a nice sleep. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Well enough. Saya, is the meeting with His Majesty still on? Yes. Do you know what time that might be? One hour. Oh. Then I better get ready. <laughs> How does she know? She I'm hungry. <laughs> is there a breakfast? Jason, for some reason, your door doesn't open. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> yes. Um. Okay. That's yeah. It lines up That's... perfectly with what she's saying. Nobody had the technology until after that war. Hmm. So, d did you create the Delhi? Correct, we did. Well, me not personally, no, but long ago, yes. Now your enemies. Yes, they seem to have grown beyond our control. What, what happened? We're not exactly sure. Uh, f as you know, f you know, 500 years ago, that's when they f that was their first attack on this plane. But only 10 years before that, they have already overridden ours, and we have moved here. So, we... And she kind of pulls all of you guys off to a side where she's out of ear sight of, or, you know, ear range of everybody that's around her, the other engineers. It's more than likely they came here looking for us. All right. So, in a way, we were the cause of your first war. We may not be the cause of the second war. The second war looks to be coming now because more than likely they are looking to expand, not just wipe, you know, us out. It would probably be best to keep this from getting. More I don't likely. think he would take this very well. Probably not. I suppose we can keep it a secret. I do want to ask, um,. Our intentions weren't to bring harm to this world. When we moved here, when we first came here, this world was barely inhabited. You guys have just started coming coming south, or coming north. The only cities that we knew of were one to the south and one in the center of your, in the center of your continent. They were relatively small, and we... <laughs> I was like, what did I do? <laughs> You showed up, that's what you did. You fall in a trap. <laughs> <laughs> it's the big pit falling immediately. Oh. Okay. So, uh, Waylon, uh, Jason, are you staying or are you going? I'm staying. Okay, so Jason will sleep. Oh it's God. roughly 8 p.m. right now. Uh, world time. And, uh, alright. So you are you guys going to be following her closely? Hopefully, yeah. You're not yes. going to be like lagging behind a little bit. You're going to be pretty, pretty close to her the entire time. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, you're also noticing this place is extremely loud. A lot of the sound, you know, a lot of pistons firing. Sounds like there's, you know, gears grinding. Um, let's see what else. Uh, furnace is firing. And it's it's an extremely extremely loud uh, city. You guys walk from the main entrance way. I'm going to have to draw this out so I know where I'm taking you. <laughs> oh, man. I'm probably not going to take on a full tour because uh, I don't think we have the time for all of that. Aww. But I want to see everything. You're not going everyone. to see them. Do you want to see their grave site? To them. <laughs> yes. Do you want to see where they bury their dead? Yes. Are you going to ask? 
Uh, probably not. Okay, then you probably won't, comfortable showing me. Then you probably won't see it. Okay, so you guys leave. Uh, you guys leave down the main hallway and branch out into uh, what looks like an industrial type district, where the entire one side of the uh, wall is just full of uh, furnaces, anvils. There's at least probably a hundred or so Valrai working on different pieces of metal or let's see, some kind of molten steel. There are a few women there also working and some, there is actually probably a group of about maybe 20 Valrai children that are learning to blow gla glass uh, just off to the right of where the, uh, let's say, parents are working. Aww. The children work here? No, we just, we're just uh, trying to get them adjusted to how things will be. Um, and every one of them is working. There's not one that's just sitting around doing nothing. Uh, many tables lining the walls with shit on them. Like, I, I really can't describe it to you because you wouldn't know what the fuck it is. Uh, there's a bunch of, you know, uh, cylinders. Some are varying size from large to small. Some are, there are uh, clockwork gears laying around. There's also some things you didn't know. There might be, there, there, there's a couple things that actually look like miniature engines that were on the, um, on the airship. Malik gravitates uh -huh. towards the uh, engine uh the miniatures? Miniatures. Say it kind of looks confused at you. You like the engines? It's a smaller version of something I've seen before. Yes, they we use uh, much larger versions of these to uh, power airships. And I'm assuming your kind has the same technology? Well... I shouldn't say say, I, or say same, I should say, you have our technology. I'm going to do an engineering check. I want to see how closely our, our uh, engines resemble this one. Sure. 17? It's engineering, but... Just yeah, um, they look relatively the same. Uh, this one, the ones that you're looking at look like they have more parts added to them than the ones you have. More advanced? Yeah. How do we have your technology? Thought you were hidden down here. Our technology is the Dalhai. You're saying our airships are the Dalhai. Yep. Yes. Your airships were built from Dalhai. From the first war, I'm assuming you scavenged what you could and tried to Oh, what's the word? Re-engineer? Reverse engineer. Reverse engineer. I'm going to do a history check. Does that match up with what I recall of airships first appearing around the time of Delhi Del disappeared? No, no need for history check. You do know yeah. you, as they grow. This is more entertainment for them right now. As they get older, it will become more of a job. Hmm. If, and if you look, they're, they don't look like they're not having fun. Like, they're, you know, breaking glass all everywhere. They're, you know, uh, stepping. They're, they're, uh, they're, they're blowing. Hold on, hold on, hold on. They're blowing too hard and popping the bubbles they're trying to do. And I just hear, like, there's broken glass everywhere and they're having a blast. <laughs> They're, they're well, they, 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 they like it. breaking things. They're smashing vases. They're all probably, all okay, if, if they were, at their average, they're probably like, between the eight, ages of eight and, or not eight, uh, ten and fifteen. Oh. Okay. One of them is just sitting there beating an iron rod on the ground, yelling for attention, while, uh, others are just, uh, trying to do what they're doing, ignoring him. <laughs> So, and she points out, this is pretty much where we're making 
you know, outer shells for airships, the or maybe s small uh, accessories for cannons are pretty much our where we want to do most of our war work. Right. Now, this, uh, if you guys would like to see the engineering area, I can take you guys there now. Yes. It's just, uh, I would not tell anybody I showed you the engine, the engineering area. I might get in a little bit of trouble. That does sound like it would be better to not tell people. <laughs> I, I don't know why, but people here don't seem to like us. It's because you're humans. Yeah. Just follow me this way. And she uh, takes you to a staircase that's uh, kind of a, a winding staircase taking you downstairs. And um, this room is much quieter. It's also a little bit smaller than the room you were just, the, the uh, pretty much open area you were just in. And there's only about maybe 25, and, uh, 25 male Vel Rai working in this area. A few of them have glasses. They, uh, they're relatively old. Um, so we left off last week with you guys uh, pretty much finding an undiscovered race that's been hiding in the, in the world for you guys don't know how long. And um, met the king. He's a douche. I like him. I don't care. And uh, you pretty much just... He doesn't have, or he's not going to help you guys, but he's letting you stay for a day. From some sway from Saya. And uh, she walked you guys back to your rooms, and that's pretty much where we left off, I believe. I believe so. She's showing your accommodations, which are extremely nice for all of you. You can bathe. There is a private pooper for everybody. Oh good, I won't smell like horse anymore. I'm pretty sure they wouldn't notice it. And I believe Waylon was asking if he can get a tour. Yes. A tour of the city. And go. <laughs> Is he getting that tour? Or? Uh, yes. Yeah. Uh, she go she uh says she'll give Waylon uh, she'll give Waylon uh Hallam a tour. Yay. Yeah, I, I already said last week that she was gonna get, that she uh would give a, give the tour. And um, and she reminds you all to try and stay inside of the inside of your rooms over the night and wait for them to come out or to get you in the morning because uh, bad things might happen to you if you leave without uh, some kind of escort with you. Oh, Why but this we... town seems so friendly and kind. They just adore us. I hope that's out of character. Mm. Yeah. It's a little too early to go to bed. Yeah. It's uh, uh, roughly 8 p.m. I'll tour. She knows. I'm gonna have a bath. I'm. Uh, I need to get into a better mood. Uh. I'll just wait in my room for the time being. I wouldn't mind going on a tour. Oh yay, Chris is going to. Why? Uh, nothing. <laughs> I'm kidding. 